Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin and today is a fan art art day. Um, I haven't really done a full fan art piece on the channel in a while, so I thought this would be a, a fun video to do since I was recently inspired by a movie that came out. And that movie is Godzilla vs Kong. I had a blast watching it. I had some nitpicks about certain things, but I still had a really good time. I mean, you can't say no to a big monster fighting flick. They're just great anyway. So I thought we could do a piece highlighting this and kind of showing where I would have wanted the movie to go. I will try to avoid spoilers as best as possible today. So anything I say isn't implying what happens in the movie. It's just like what I would have chose for like my perfect movie type of situation. I've said this a lot on Twitch, which I'm doing this video right now live on Twitch. So if you wanna follow me and hang out while I do art, twitch.tv forward slash kvakeg. But I've talked about it a lot on my channel and on Twitch that Godzilla is one of my favorite movie monsters. Super awesome design. And there's so many different iterations of Godzilla that are just super cool. Like I love Shin Godzilla. I love OG Godzilla. I love the newer designs. We're not talking about the American Zilla. That one is just, over there somewhere. All of the like cooler Japanese designs or this newer iteration of Zilla, I've been really, really enjoying. So of course with uh, Godzilla vs Kong, I had a little bit of mixed feelings. I uh, knew going into it that obviously like they're gonna highlight both characters and you know, they're gonna kind of show off both of their strengths and weaknesses. But in my opinion, any time that Zilla is against anything like this, Zilla is gonna win. So today's piece, I really want to draw just like Godzilla being their badass self and just kicking butt. I really wanna show a fight scene between Zilla and Kong. It's not gonna be like a direct one for sure from the movie. Obviously they fight in this movie. That's the whole point of this movie is they fight. So there's not gonna be any like spoilers, but I'm going to show them fighting each other. I think I want to do a big piece with kind of the city in the background and like lots of like flames and fire and smoke and they're kind of like wrestling and duking it out. And I kind of have a pose in mind or a certain look in mind that I want to do for this. What I'm kind of thinking for this piece is I have like a certain composition in mind. What I really want to do is have kind of Godzilla getting ready to charge like a big blast and I'm thinking that maybe like Kong could be here like trying to fight Zilla off or something. That could be a really cool composition. I know these are just stick figures, so uh, bear with me. But we could have some like buildings falling over, some other buildings in the background, some smoke. I think it'd be really cool to just kind of show like a blast getting ready to be fired off, get the spines all illuminated and then just show like the absolute carnage of the city around them and just really showing Godzilla getting ready to fire off a giant blast. I think it would be really, really cool. And so I'm gonna kind of run with this general composition in mind, maybe tweak it a little bit, but I want to show Zilla on the winning side because Godzilla is for sure like the one that would win in this face off. There were a lot of times in the movie where I was like, well, that part should have killed Kong right there. Dead, dunzo, whatever. But you know, that's how movie writing works. But in my world, <laughs> a couple of those shots would have for sure hit Kong. <laughs> so I want to show my ideal movie of where Godzilla is totally wrecking and just destroying Kong and the city around him. So let's go ahead, jump in, keep this in mind, get some sketches figured out and uh, kind of struggle through at least the building since I'm not used to it, but I really want to push myself and try something outside my comfort zone. So let's jump in and get this sketch going. All right, let's kick off the sketch phase for this super ambitious piece. I think this is probably one of the most ambitious pieces I've ever done. Um, I've done a couple of other like, I guess heavily painted and rendered pieces, but this one in particular, I was a little intimidated specifically because of the addition of buildings and then the need for potential perspective. So I have learned perspective. I generally know what it is from like school and having to do perspective exercises, but I'll be honest, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like using perspective. It might be just because I haven't really fully learned it and like in terms of, I, I haven't figured out how to utilize it the best that it can be. So I just kind of winged it with the buildings and the setup because I, I had in my head how I wanted Godzilla and Kong to be framed by these buildings. 
and generally what I wanted them to look like based off of some images from the movie. And I was like, I got an idea and I know it's not gonna be perfect perspective, but I just wanna more highlight Kong and Godzilla because monsters are more of my strong suit. And this was just kind of trying to figure out buildings and just an exercise on a really ambitious piece. Okay, so I am done with the rough sketch for this piece and I am really liking how this is coming together. I'm pretty intimidated by the buildings, not gonna lie, but I'm kind of digging where it's going. I know perspective wise, it's kind of like all over the place. Um, I think I will try to double check perspective um, before I really jump in and get the line art started. I mostly am doing this to highlight the creatures because uh, that's my main thing for my art is like, I love drawing the creatures. I'm gonna just double check in my brain how the perspective looks and works and figure that all out. But I think I'm just about ready to jump into line art. I decided to actually include the full tail for Godzilla just because I really wanna highlight all of the spines just becoming illuminated as he starts charging to just do like crazy beam right to the face. And so I wanted to get all of those spines highlighted and make Godzilla the primary focus. Cause uh, yeah, you know, King Kong can be there. Yeah, it's someone for Godzilla to beat up, but <laughs> I really wanted the viewer to see Godzilla mostly in this piece. And I'm excited to try doing all the cool neon lights like in the movie and having it just illuminating everywhere like on Kong, on Godzilla. I think it's gonna be really cool and for sure push me outside my usual comfort zone for coloring. So I'm gonna jump in kind of double check a couple things and then we're gonna start the line art. So let's get into that. All right, with the sketch phase all planned out, it was time to just get stuck into this and really hunker down and paint this. So in case you guys are interested, I think this piece took close to, if not over-ish, six hours. I did take some breaks on the Twitch stream, but this was probably one of the longest Twitch streams I've ever done. I mean, there was the 24 hour one that I did for Extra Life, but this one was ridiculous. <laughs> I was just so dedicated to getting this piece done. And I was, it was, it was interesting because honestly it was a combination of, I was really enjoying the painting process and seeing it come together. It's kind of like if you're building a piece of furniture, it starts as so many random pieces of wood, but then in the end, it becomes this beautiful centerpiece for your living room, you know what I mean? It, it was one of those things where I'm like, oh man, I'm just so close. I just need to put this one last like screw in, or I have to like paint this one piece of wood. You know what I mean? It just, it I could see the end and it was so close each time that I was like, I just gotta get this done. So I ended up chunking it out on a very long Twitch stream, but I had a really fun time and the community kept me company through the whole process because wow, this was a very intense piece. And we even joked that um, a couple people like left to go do their own live streams and then they came back and they're like, you're still going? And I'm like, I am, I just gotta get this done. <laughs> I was just really into it and really had a fun time just basically doing this giant piece. So one of the reasons why I am doing this piece obviously is because I really like Godzilla and then I did enjoy the Godzilla vs. Kong movie. It was kind of funny because I was, if you ask my husband, I was yelling at the screen on and off just because I was like, oh man, like this should have killed someone, this should have killed someone, this should have happened, this should have happened. You know, different critiques of the movie, but I still had a really good time with it. Um, and the monster fights were pretty dang cool, I have to say. I did really enjoy seeing them. And then just any excuse to see Godzilla, I just, you know, I have to take it. I just love, I love Godzilla and like King of Monsters was so good. Like I really enjoyed that movie. Like the the monster battles in that were just fantastic and it was it was really cool to see. So I really had a lot of fun just working on this and pushing myself outside my comfort zone. Like I said, I'm not really one for buildings, but kind of another reason why I'm doing this is for like a portfolio builder piece. I'm looking into getting maybe some more freelance contracts or, I mean, if it eventually becomes a full-time gig, great, but mostly for freelance in terms of um, working for concept art. Like I really still wanna get into that field. Um, I am still working on my comic on the side and then, you know, producing these YouTube videos and other things, but I, I still have this nagging feeling of really wanting to try to get into the industry and, you know, try it out, I guess, um, because it just, 
it seems so right to do monster and creature designs for games, like especially now that I'm getting into Monster Hunter and a couple other games focusing on creature design, I'm like really craving it. Just the idea of being on a team and like slowly developing a game or a show or an animation like Dota on Netflix, highly recommend. That is also a great show, but seeing that and the different cool designs for like creatures and dragons and fantasy like elements, it just, it's really inspiring. And I really wanna make my own studio in the future. And so I'm thinking getting a job in the industry would help, you know, pave that way. Like I could learn the ins and outs of developing these things. Cause I know like there, there are creators out there that are successful in the way of just creating something and then they become a part of the industry, I guess you could say. Um, kind of like uh, the guy who made Undertale or Five Nights at Freddy's. They had like some, I think, I could be wrong. I don't think uh, the guy who made Undertale had previous experience specifically, but either way, both of them created their own independent IP and then became a part of the industry with that IP, you know? And I would love to do that with my comic. I would love to get Fox Monk Hounds off the ground and create my independent IP and maybe eventually it could evolve into more of a studio setting. Um, but that takes time and effort and uh, I wanna take my time on the comic and not rush it. So in the meantime, I was like, well, it'd be really cool to get an industry job. So very long story short, um, this piece I was recommended trying something like this to put in my portfolio, like make a big showstopper. So I was like, I'm gonna pull out all the stops and try everything I'm uncomfortable with to try to make a really cool piece. And I think it really pays off. Like, yes, my perspective is not perfect. Yes, my buildings are not perfect, but I'm like, I haven't painted a building or drawn a building in so long that I was actually pretty happy, if not impressed with myself for these because wow, I hate buildings. <laughs> and I know I'm much better at more organic shapes, like that's where my strong suit is. But going from zero buildings to these buildings, I was pretty okay with, because I, like I said, I don't even, I can't even remember the last time I built a scene that had a building. I feel it's been like two, three years or more since I've really touched something. I did something for Fox Among Hounds that had a building, but that was a really old concept art, so. I don't know. It's just kind of cool to go in and just try something different and outside my comfort zone. So if you've seen the trailers, you would kind of recognize this scene from the movie. Like I said, I won't go into detail of spoilers, but obviously they fight in a really cool big city with neon lights. And that setting was just really cool to see the fight in. Like I could have watched a whole movie of them just fighting in the dark with these neon lights and these buildings everywhere. It just was, it was just really cool to see. And it made for some really cool effects, both on Godzilla and Kong and then on the other buildings around it. And it was cool to see the glowing buildings against um, Godzilla when glowing and powering up for like a beam attack. Like it was just really cool to have all these bright glowing elements amongst each other. So that's what I really wanted to highlight with this because yes, there was other scenes in the movie. Like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into detail, but there were other scenes in the movie that I could have highlighted with these type of scenes. But I just felt this one was great because one, you have really cool dynamic lighting. That dynamic lighting can be applied to the scenery. So then you could really highlight you know, all this time I'm spending on the buildings, I might as well try to make those buildings look cool, right? Um, and then it just is a really cool framing for the whole fight in general. I just thought this was gonna be a really awesome scene to try to depict and it would really push me outside my comfort zone because like I said, I've said it a million times in this video, buildings, but then buildings that have some detailing enough that people might wanna like look closer at those buildings. So I just went, it, it's kind of like when people are afraid of spiders. <laughs> I know this isn't the way to cure these type of phobias, but being exposed to the thing you fear might make your fear less. So that's kind of how I'm seeing it with these setups because yes, I avoid buildings because I don't like doing them, 
but then if I just do them, I'll get better at them, you know? I, okay, the spider analogy was bad. I'm sorry, guys. Let's just ignore that and act like I didn't say that. <laughs> Another fun thing to experiment with in this was um, the idea of the smoke catching the light of the buildings and off of Godzilla later on. Um, I really liked this idea. I don't know if it was uh, executed as well as I was thinking in my brain. Um, clouds are another one of my, I guess, pitfalls that I'm not as comfortable with. Uh, smoke and steam, I can do a little bit better, but then when, when smoke or steam gets to a big enough size, it basically becomes clouds again, you know? Like, I'm, I'm okay with small amounts of smoke and steam, but when they become big puffy clouds of smoke and steam, it's a whole nother problem. So that was uh, another thing I was struggling with, but I really like how they did turn out currently. Uh, it's another thing that I really want to practice and get better at and just improve overall. I know I recently acquired some brushes for um, a cloud pack uh, that I totally forgot to use in this piece, which would have been super helpful. Uh, but, you know, this was still a time for me to experiment and try something different with coloring clouds and them bringing in the light from their surroundings. Um, because yeah, I've never done that. I mean, yeah, maybe for like sunset sunrises and I guess in the day, clouds technically do that, but they don't usually get these crazy neon colors. No, I lied. Sunrise and sunset do that to clouds too. I don't know where I'm going with this voiceover, but <laughs> either way, I really like how this turned out. I loved all the highlights and the colors everywhere. The neon lights on the buildings were super fun to do and just them emanating that glow was great. And then I had a blast just painting Godzilla. Like I love doing fan art of Godzilla. I need to do it more because this was just so much fun and I absolutely adore this piece. All right, guys, I think we're gonna call this one done. What a slog this piece was, but it was really worth it. I think there's a few things I could push even more, but I think I'm gonna call it done for this one. Maybe I'll add a couple more things after this episode. I really like this. It was really outside my comfort zone. I don't do buildings. I don't usually do backgrounds. And I decided, hey, you know what sounds good? Pushing my backgrounds to like the outer limit of what I'm comfortable with. I did really enjoy this movie. I had a lot of fun doing this fan art. And I guess, yeah, the one thing I would always say is Godzilla would win anything if you ask me. So of course I had to show him winning in this battle. And this was really fun, even though it was exhausting and took me many, many hours. So. Since I did put a lot of work into this, I'd super appreciate it if you guys hit the like button, left me a comment down below, maybe tell me what other movie franchise or like series you would want to see me do a similar big intensive piece. I'm happy with it and for sure this pushed me way outside what I'm used to. So even if it's not perfect, it's a good step in the right direction for improving my art and getting better with each piece. But anyway, thank you guys again so much for stopping by and checking out this video. And if you aren't already, please hit that subscribe button, join our little community and uh, join my Twitch community, twitch.tv forward slash kmckeg. All of them are my little tater tots and uh, best buds. I think we're gonna start bringing that over to this channel too. Join us and kind of watch me paint live and hang out and chat and just have a good time. But either way, thank you guys again so much for stopping by and I'll see you all next time. Bye everybody.